Hello, my name's Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you back to another cooking class with SketchUp. In this case here, we're working with our Savoie drawing, and we've already completed uh, cleaning up the AutoCAD file, bringing it into Savoie, the uh, SketchUp, the Savoie drawing into SketchUp, and we've done most of the walls here. So now what I'd like to do is address doing my doors and my windows and my ramp, and possibly the stairs if there's time. So uh, to start with, for the, the door, we know the door is going to be 7 foot high. So I'm just going to create a construction line with my measuring tape tool. I just go in here and just grab the surface and come up in the blue axis 7 feet. And this shows me where my door header will be. So I can uh, just create a door header here by just creating a rectangle on this surface. And of course, I'm just going to pull it through to this side here. So if I really, really want to be fussy about it, I can just whoops, clean up this by just erasing these lines. Not sure if it's really necessary to go that far with this. Do the same thing for my window here. I know I want my window to be seven foot. It should the window should line up with the door. So again, with my measuring tape tool, come up seven foot. Okay, just make sure that it's on the wall. I'm just going to grab this and drop it down four foot. So whatever size your window is. Um, oh, let's see, I missed that one. I'll undo it. Make sure I'm in the blue axis. Four foot. That looks better. So with that set up like this, I should be able to again just draw a rectangle here. Draw a rectangle here. And of course it filled in the one here, so I just select that and just push delete. So now I can push pull get this to be out to here out to here and I should be able to just erase all this stuff now And I just carry on through the rest of my model to get this thing set up. I'm just going to pause it now while I do that. I'm sure you can do the same. Okay, we'll just resume now. Um, I've finished cleaning up my windows and my doors. And you can do the same with yours. I think you've probably done the same with yours as well. So, um, again, we could just draw a windowsill in here. And then we can put in whatever we want. We can either bring in a window or we can create our own window. It's not really a problem. I'm not going to worry about that. Same with the doors. We can put doors in here or we can bring some in. It's totally up to you how you want to handle this. So let's just have a look at the ramp now. So with the ramp, we know that the ceiling height is, is 10 feet. So the ramp would be halfway. So I'm just going to, uh, first of all, I'm just going to pull up these other walls. This one here. Pull this up 10 feet, and I'll just also pull up this divider in by 10 feet. Okay, so uh, again, the walls are 10 feet high, so this one should be 5 feet. And this creates a little bit of confusion sometimes for students because they're not exactly sure which way is up and which way is whatever. On the original drawing, there was a section across here, so that suggests that we start here and go up to here, and then go from here up to the top. So that's what I'm going to do here. So um, with the line tool, <coughs> excuse me, just draw a line from here to here. Same thing on the other side, from here to here. And that creates that surface. That's really nice. So I just can erase that line don't need that line and that looks good here so I just do the same thing on the other side again we went from here up to here now we're going from here up to here so I start from that point go up to here
complete the same thing on the other side and come across to that surface there. And so now we have that one there like that. Okay. Something doesn't quite look right, so I'm just going to undo that last line here. That line should come from this side. That's better. I think I picked the other side of the wall by accident. And so, of course, we don't need this open. I mean, we could have this solid or not. It's not really a big deal. I'll just delete it for now. And delete that one as well. And we could also, again, it's just a space underneath there. It's not really important. So we've done pretty good with this. Um, let's just have a quick look at how we would handle doing the stair. This is a little bit tricky. Um, we it, It's because it's created as an arc, you can see that the arc lines and these lines, they don't actually match. So this is a line, this is a line. These are all just lines, and so it's going to be a problem. So what I want to do here is I'm just going to select this, and I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to make it into a group. So now I have to totally trace this whole thing in order to make this work. So just very quickly, I'm just going to grab this end point. There's one, whoops. Very carefully. That's basically going to be one rectangle. There's a rectangle. Here's a rectangle. So I, I just have to complete my stairs. It's a little bit monotonous, but it will you'll see in a second here that it'll work out very well. So now I should be able to select these surfaces and you see that each one of these is a surface. So you need to just check. And now so we've got the stair part, so the curved part just going to create arcs. We need to do all three arcs. So again, I should be able to select that's that's one area, that's an area, and that's an area. So now what I have to do is with my line tool, I need to draw a line from the center. And be very, very careful. Don't go to the end. Just go to the where it intersects to the arc. So if I select that, that's one group. And you can see that that's also a group. So that's we need to divide that one now. Same thing again. A line from here. Again, just to the arc. And then I can draw another line from here to here and from here to here and so if I check it there's one two three four five there's one there and there's one here okay so now I can clean this up a little bit so I'm just going to erase those little lines in here I can erase this one erase this one and if I go in here if I erase this I'm erasing the group underneath Okay, so we know again that this should be 10 foot high, so I'll just pull this up 10 foot, pull this up 10 foot. So I've got lots of extra lines here, so I'll just erase these. Can't erase that one, so I'll, um, but I can erase the other ones. Same thing happens on this side, I can erase these just to clean it up, make it a little bit easier. All right, so we know that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 1 up is 18. So we have 18 risers. So this is kind of cool, so just really, really pay attention here. 
going to just create a guideline on the bottom. Now I'm not going to create a guideline on the top, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a move, select it first, move copy, grab that guideline and bring it up to the top, and now I'm going to go divide or uh, forward slash 18, and now what I've done is I've just created all of my steps. This is the guidelines to help me create the steps. So I'm just going to select those. And missed some of them for whatever reason. Hold down the shift. And I'm just going to move them from here to here. And then I'm just going to do a copy move over to the other side. Okay, so that's really good. So we know that we have to go one, two, three, four, five, six up. So I'll just do push pull for six, one. That's three, four, five, six. So I should just be able to go five, four, three, two, one. So I'm just going to pause it and complete it. So now that I've completed this, I should be able to just erase all my construction lines. And I've got a nice uh, stairwell. Everything's complete. Have fun. Thank you.